done. Hello YouTube, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. We are here at the Heritage site in Abu Dhabi and uh, we'll be taking you there and uh, just sit back and relax and watch this. Thirty minutes. Okay. So we'll be quick. Uh, hopefully, we we'll just capture everything on the video here and watch it at home. We should preserve our tradition and national heritage. We should stick to our roots and our Arabic and Islamic traditions. I think, uh, I funny. Mean, how about we go this way and then we end up towards the exit here? Okay. Oh, wow. This is a museum gifted to Sheikh by Salim Ibrahim Muhammad al -Salam. Um, I think uh, this is like a, a coarse people's house. It's, this house is built from uh, palm trees front and this is uh, a replica of the house, of houses, the local people. They have a carpet. And they'll be there listening to uh, Dono radio, sipping on uh, tea and coffee. And this is uh, like a veranda, a porch. And this is like uh, the rooms. They sit here on the couch, right at the bottom, and that's the bed. They sleep right there. And. Uh, here is a pantry keep their stuff right there okay and they use lantern I'm gonna try and hurry up this place close in 30 minutes I don't have enough time, but I'll try my best. And that's Abu Dhabi, guys. Beautiful. And this is uh, Abu Dhabi. This is a traditional rowing boat. And this is how it looks inside. Hmm. Wow. And look at this, guys. And we are the beach in Abu Dhabi. We are the beach in Abu Dhabi, guys. Look behind me, there. You see, that's Abu Dhabi. Ah. So I'm giving you 360. And you see, that's Abu Dhabi behind me. All the way there. Um, yeah, here are some of the stuff that they have out here. Okay. Oh.
and this is museum. It just goes. It's gonna open up. There we go. This is the museum. This is this. To have jewelry in, back in the day, portrait, the traditional coffee pot made of bronze. So this is a model. Wow. This is a, uh, what's this, fishing net and the hook. My wife, she wants to take pictures. So we don't have enough time. This place pause in 30 minutes, maybe 25 more minutes. We're gonna be leaving. Some of our good shoes. Flower and other good shoes. Yeah. Yeah. The holy book. Right for a weaponry, weaponry. Shit, man. Big guns back in the day. They would blow this to defend themselves. Okay, yeah. If you come here and you want to go to the restroom, you just follow that trail to take you to the bathroom. This is a cultural heritage site in uh, Abu Dhabi. It's free of charge, you don't have to pay anything. And um, it's next to uh, downtown Abu Dhabi, it's on the other side of the, uh, the riverbank. And this is at the administration office. Oh, oh what's this? Al Hill tomb. Which one is the tomb? The tomb. This tomb back dates back to four thousand years ago. It has a diameter of twelve thousand meters and it stood about four meters tall. The tomb includes four internal chambers and each one was used for a definite number of bodies. The two entrances of the tomb have sculpture decorated. The tomb was probably used for the two or three. So this is the tomb. Where we're standing? Whoa! And what's this? Beda bin Saudi. Benta bin Saudi lies some um, 15 kilometers north of our scene. Kam uh, bin Saudi uh, outcrop is the most distinct, distinctive landmark in that area. Numerous tombs have tombs have been found on this top of this outcrop and the surrounding foothills. Hmm. Some interesting stuff, and here it says the archaeological archaeological area. All the samples in this area are miniatures and replica. Okay, so this is these are just replicas. Meaning it's not real. So yes, guys. So we are here in Abu Dhabi. I'm here with my beautiful wife here. So far, how do you like it? Uh, well, what do you awesome. say? Awesome. Awesome. 
we got no ways but to say awesome guys this is uh, an amazing tour this is an amazing tour guys Abu Dhabi on the background can you see there that's Abu Dhabi for you so let's see how the uh, Persian people used to live oh okay that's close Huh. What's that? The cow. Cow poop? Yeah. Oh, is that a cow poop? Where does where is that water coming from? Oh uh, right here. And for those of you guys who have never seen cows, how they look into Abu Dhabi, that's how the cow looks like. Not me. Look at that. The cow is even. Wow, this that's huge. That's huge. That's the richest cow in Dubai, in Abu Dhabi. Look at goats too, guys. So you've never seen gods before? Those are gods. And what else? What do we read about this? It's original Al Jazeera. It's an original, an operation of a traditional technique which irrigates the palm tree farms. The farmers of the UAE used this method for many decades before the invention of the modern irrigation machines. So guys, this is how the do irrigation system to water their crops and this is the traditional way so they'll, they'll pump the water from the ground and they'll put like a channel or across the, uh, the farm and this is how they irrigate the crops amazing and what's this Copa exposition of the uh, okay these are the stuff that are uh, the, the setting those stuff right that's like, like a gift shop no I think those are gift so here we go guys we are in Abu Dhabi here at the heritage site heritage site and uh, we are capturing the stuff that happens or used to happen back in the day in Abu Dhabi. Oh man, that's the museum over. We went there, right? Mm -hmm. And they have a market here, but I'm trying to record against the sun. The sun is in front of me. So I'll just put my camera in front of me. See uh, you. They're selling the salis for seven dollars or something like that, or fifteen dollars. This is a. Uh, <laughs> heritage site in Abu Dhabi. Ooh, the sun is too much. I need some glasses. No, look cute in glasses too. <laughs> and this is like a well. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys. <sighs> this is a well, like in, somewhere there in the desert. That's how they do. That's how they get the water. Sorry that we are rushing because we came here late and they'll be closing soon. And let me show you guys what else they have here. This is like a typical, typical village. That's you know, a typical village that uh, how it used to look. And they have a mosque here too. This is like a mosque village. Wow. 
have to be quiet so until we finish the finish well, but that's a call for prayer guys for the Muslims that's the afternoon prayer anyway let me read this he says this house is made out of the combination of the hair of goats and sheep in order to achieve strength and consistency it is used in the cold days of winter this kind of tent has different sizes according to the number of the families oh wow yeah you heard that guys it's a replica of a tea uh, or coffee pot and this is like what a cry I think uh, this is uh, this read what they're saying here Allah Hadira it's a it's uh, built up from the branches of uh, Al Mah, Al Athman, Al Sabat, Al Mas, Al Ariel, the cell desert trees. It's used as a guest sitting place where beans and Arabic coffee are, just, are served. Each group of houses, Farij, has a special hidden hadera to receive guests and show the Arab hospitality. And this is how it looks, guys, here. See? And there, here too, they have a, what is called, this house is Bait al Bait is a house. This house is made of sackcloth and it was used in winter. In the upper part of the house, the branches of Saba and Amma trees are added and the house is surrounded by the branches of Maha tree in order to keep moderate temperature inside. And this is how it looks inside, guys. I'll, just sneak, I'll give you a sneak peek. And that's how it looks inside. Let me go in all the way. And this is how it looks inside, guys. It's a camping area in the desert for the natives. And there we go. It's made out of the star cloth. Oh, God, guess what? We have a camel here. We have camels and we have a donkey there. And then we have a horse. Wow. Hey, how you doing? Hey, look at him, isn't that cute? That's so cute. Oh wow. <coughs> Is that a, like what? Kudu? Impala or deer? This house made out of a of gold and sheep to achieve strength and so is that use. I think I uh, showed you guys this. And this is how it looks inside. They have a chest box here. They have the beddings. And this is how it looks in the uh, in the desert they used it back in the day could be maybe some other people they're still using this to date but yeah that's uh what um, i have here guys i'm showing you this uh, this is uh, the heritage site in abu dhabi and what else do we have here so here they have al bait al hasa this is the mountain's people house it's built up for out of pebbles in the eastern mountain area and it was inhabited by the people of the area especially by al shahur tribe this house is cold in summer and warm in winter the ceiling of this house is made out of the palm trees fawn, fronds and it's made thicker by adding palm trees fonts and clay in order to protect from the rain and keep the house cool in summer huh. look at this guys so it's made out of these pebbles i don't know whether you're able to see right here and this is how it looks inside guys it's it's cold here it's hot outside but it's cooler here and you see got some vents wow this is amazing it feels like there's ac inside no i think we need this kind of te technology to some other people out there that are still living in the desert and they don't know this technology they use pebbles 
leave spaces in between for air to, and they use a um, palm tree leaves to thatch it and you have a house there you go and I think that's their storage right there amazing 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 guys at this side what we have we have albedo what the oasis house this house is made out of palm trees fronds in the uh, oasis area Alena, it was inhabited by the farmers families so you know in the desert they have like a uh, oasis and um yeah so people farmers especially the farmers they move from one place to another looking for water hey how you doing man very well thank you how are you man i'm good brother nice to meet you nice meeting you what's your name my name is osman osman where are you from I'm from uganda oh wow yeah guys we have an african here man so how do you like dubai here I'm in Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi. Yes, sir. Generally UAE. Yes. Really nice. I've been here for eight years. For this eight my, years. This is my second home. Your second home. I really love. What do? What made you move down here? I moved here in 2014. Okay. And I've been here since 2014 up to now. Wow. So, if I had some friends who wanted to come to Abu Dhabi, mm -hmm. what should I tell them about Abu Dhabi or UAE as a whole? They are really welcome. We should come and enjoy lots of places to visit, yes. lots of activities to do here, huh? especially during summer. If you want to go um, sun uh, sunbashing, you want to go to uh, uh, the desert, yes. to the desert, it's all here. You're going to love it. It's absolutely amazing. Wow. Thank you, guys. man, guys. You've heard it. Uh, this is a resident of uh, Abu Dhabi. Osman is a nice guy. We just met here and he just said hi. Man, people here, they're just uh, open people, man. I mean, they're very nice people. They greet you, they tell you everything that you want to know. And they will take you to places and everything. So as you heard from Osman, come to Abu Dhabi, man. Come and visit. For those guys that always come to Dubai, come to Abu Dhabi. Come to Abu Dhabi. Abu, Abu Dhabi. To come to Abu Dhabi. It's a beautiful place. You go to Abu. You hear that, guys? Yeah. It's a, only one hour, twenty minutes, I think. You know, a drive from Dubai to Abu Dhabi. So next time when you come to uh, Dubai, come all the way here. Thank you, guys, for watching, and thank you and appreciate. Peace out.